Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to you know, Ernestine Hill Talk to Me. I'm Central Valley's sweet thing. Thank you for tuning in today. Woo! You guys, I have the most awesome studio audience today, and the greatest, greatest co host, Mr. Ivan. Hello, Blue Light. Blue, we're going to tell you what Blue Light means in just a second. But, Ivan, your last name? It's a uh, Peruso. It's the F word. Well, yeah, well, it's, yeah, well, you don't really say the airport, but, yeah. uh, you know, it's actually rolls into my last name, you know, I mean, it, it could easily go both ways, I guess, you know, at some point, but, uh, yeah, you, you can actually, you know, roll it into my last name. We can. Well, we like, we're, I'm glad that you're here, you guys. Thank you so much for jo joining in and tuning in today. We're going to have an awesome show, and Ivan's going to help me kick it off today. Um, you guys... That track you just heard right now coming in that you guys were grooving to was from E-Rock out there in Hanford, California from Landmine Hoodfellow Records. Have you heard of them? Actually, no, I have, but they sounded pretty good. They sounded yeah. pretty yeah, good, right? If you really need some good. tracks, yes, get a hold of me. I get a hold of E-Rock for you. I'm so excited because you're my awesome co-host today. Thank we you. also Thank have you. some other people in the house. We have Rochelle DeLong, right? Yeah, and Isaac De Jesus from Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino. It's a tough guy. Oh, like she's going to give guy. us the yeah. uppercut on of info on the Tachi Palace yes, fight. Indeed, That's what they're yeah. going to do. Yeah, they, they might knock me out. You said that pretty well, yeah, because he's a fighter, you know. So. Yeah, <laughs> some awesome people here today. And don't forget that today you can win tickets. So when I give you guys the word to call, there's going to be a number. Well, there's a number right now. So... Put it in your cell phone, plug it yeah. in, and you know. I can call. You can call. You can okay. go outside and call. You have a chance to win too. So um, we're going to be giving away two pairs of tickets to the Tachi Palace fights, and you don't want to miss it. It's next Thursday, and we're going to learn all about it with my awesome guest today. So make sure you're listening. We also have Central Valley's cleanest comedian today. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yes. Lonnie Pelly is in the house. Did I see your last name right on the side? Ooh, now, I wonder if he's the cleanest comedian because he doesn't cuss, or maybe he just because he showers. Yeah, that's a good. I guess we'll find out. But you know what? I'm saying shower. <laughs> you don't think it's the shower part, Bill? <laughs> but you know, you know what? Yeah. I I'm certain that when Lonnie was a child and he would tell his parents, you know, that he wanted to be a comedian, they were all laughing at him. But now, look at him now, you know, no one is laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're going to laugh today because Lonnie's awesome. He's the cleanest. I think, you know, you can be funny without being obscene, right? Yes, indeed. Can, like, I believe so, yeah. Be yeah. funny without cousin. I think we're And doing without it. any props, I guess, you know I mean? Who needs props, you know, to make comedy, you know? I mean, just stand there, you know, and then you have to use your mouth, you know? You don't have to use helicopters or bats or rocker balls, whatever, you know? It's like, you right, tried uh, that before? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, I just thought you tried it and it didn't work. Yeah, well, no, I mean, I thought about it, but yeah, it was <laughs> too much work, man. I it mean, is a lot like of work. It's, it's like, a lot yeah, of work. It, yeah. Some people have it natural, but but I'm sure it's a lot of work to make people laugh. So. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I actually, no, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, uh, uh, how can I say it? It's actually, well, actually, it, it becomes easier in a way because you're, you're taking sort of the punch on the actual, you know, uh, lines, the punch lines, you know, by using the, the props, you know. I think it no might props. Be, yeah, yeah. Like, so no props. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, and I just want to point out that Ivan or Ivan. It's or uh, Ivan. Well, the, the actual way to say it. It's uh, Ivan. Ivan. Yeah. Ivan. No, no, I Ivan. 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 Which is yeah, I know it's a Slavic name. It's Russian. It's Russian, but he's actually all the way here from Ecuador. Yes. <laughs> yes, everybody. Yeah. That is amazing. Did I you? Just, yeah, I just got off the plane. Just, just uh, got off the plane from Ecuador. <laughs> did you tell everybody in Ecuador to tune in today? Yes, I did. Actually, that, yes. See, I, you I, never I, know who's <laughs> watching you guys. This is internet TV. We're worldwide watching from all over the United States and the world because, you know, mm -hmm. I ran into somebody last week who told me that a whole barracks in Hawaii were watching one of my shows, one of my oh, past wow. shows. That's I was so excited. Great. So, hi, Hawaii. Thank Aloha. you. Aloha. Aloha. Have you been to Hawaii? Uh, no, I haven't. Me neither. I want to go Just now, been... though. Maybe we could stay in the barracks. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bill saying is a probability. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. 
chance of doing okay, that. Okay, by the way, I'm going to speak slower just for Bill so he can understand <laughs> what I'm talking about. We're going to get captions. At, at, we're going to get captions when we replay it. So don't worry. You know, just your smile and you being here is awesome. We can probably do some sign language too, you know, like. Just tell them you're going to knock them out. we got fighters, we got comedians, we got all kinds of stuff here today, so I'm so excited. So excited that my sponsor, Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino, is in the house. And, you know, they're going to talk about the fights today, but we're, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some other things at Tachi Palace. It's 30th year anniversary. Now, do you even know anything that lasts 30 years? Uh, actually, no, no. Like relationships uh, or something? Not or? even. Oh, actually, you know what? I do know <laughs> something that lasts uh, the whole lifetime. What is that? It's soccer. To me, it's, soccer. Yeah, soccer has been with me my whole life, you know, you know it's, uh, since I was a child. So you've been a soccer for 30 some years. Yeah, for 30 plus years. Yeah. 30 plus years. Yeah, well, yeah. Tachi Palace has been around for 30 years and that is phenomenal. They're mm -hmm. awesome. They're growing. And have you ever been out there? Yes, I have. See, yeah. almost yeah. everybody in the Central Valley has been out there. There's tour buses that are always going out there. So they have some amazing things going out there. I'm so glad that they're here today. Yeah, I, the, I was, actually, I was just recently for the 4th of July. Oh, you uh, went yeah, to that? Yeah, so it was pretty nice, actually. You know, some really nice fireworks and uh, and you yeah, went yeah. because you heard it on my show right yes indeed. that's yeah. right um that's amazing guess what else is happening on august 24th and 25th there's a big powwow going on there so like there's some information across the screen you guys if you you know make a trip to go out there for the powwow it's going to be mm. so awesome they're going to have gonna so be, many uh, things out there um and traditional native american yeah. dancing drum groups have you ever heard drumming like native american drumming uh, yes, I have. It, yeah, it's yeah. so awesome in to the be movies, there yeah. in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have to go live. Yeah. Yeah, Everything is better live. Yeah. Yeah. Just the energy is just so awesome. So the drum groups, there's going to be crafts, uh, food, more cultural fun, entertainment for the whole family. And they're going to have contests and there's, people can win up to $60,000 uh, in reward money that participate in the powwows. So mm -hmm. that's so awesome. And um, they got other things going on out there. Tachi Knockout, and you can win your share of $50,000. Still going on until August 21st. Hmm. Did you win any money when you went? Did you go gamble a little bit? Uh, yeah, I did, but I, I didn't win anything that day. I wasn't that lucky that one day. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to try again, I guess. Try again. Yeah, Just yeah, keep yeah. trying. I have to try again. <laughs> Yeah. You got when's your birthday? I don't want to try too hard. You, you already have it was about three weeks ago. Oh, did you, yeah. In August still? No, ju no, July. Oh man, you could have went to play yeah, bingo for weeks free. Weeks ago, yeah. But bingo yeah. is so awesome out there. Oh my gosh, do you like bingo? Uh I, I could try it. You could try it. It's so fun. Have you ever yelled well you probably never yelled bingo then, right? No, no right then. That's so crazy because yeah. like right. you don't I, picture I could, yourself yeah. yelling bingo. I know I could probably see myself yelling bingo. Do it now, point. just let it out. Okay, I'll practice. Give it a Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo in the crowd. You know, for stepping up, you get a free pencil. <laughs> That's all I have to give away. People know that I'm waiting on getting cars. I'm waiting on I'm waiting on the car stuff. But also you guys, um, and then again, the fight the fights are coming up. We're gonna talk about the fights August twenty second on Thursday and we're gonna meet we're gonna meet one of the fighters for the show. So it's gonna be great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And also go on over to your coyote grill. They have an awesome August special of crab cake Veracruz over Fiesta Citrus Rice. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Sounds nice. It sounds nice. It is so creative and it looks good. If you're into crabs <laughs> <laughs> That didn't come out. Yeah, yeah. If you're into seafood, maybe. Right. If you like crabs, you know, you got to get out there. Especially, go the especially go to the barracks. <laughs> Producer Bill said, if you like crabs, go to the barracks. Yeah, we, we love our servicemen and women. Bill, stop it. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and Seafood Thursdays, 4 to 10 at Pork Chop Hill. They got so many things going on, you guys. Don't miss out. So much live entertainment. Let me just tell you who's going to be there tomorrow night. At, for live entertainment is uh, DB and the Struggle is going to be out there at the Koiway Lounge and the Blue Jackets are going to be at the Sunset Lounge. So it's going to be an awesome, awesome thing. Another thing I want to mention is this last week I was on a mission. My boys wanted to win oh, to right. yeah, yeah. the WWE live event, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah. So little did I know, oh my goodness, they, 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 they created a picture. I told them, hey, we had a couple hours to create a picture. They went and got all their WWE stuff, put it out on mm -hmm. the couch. They put their WWE shirts on and underoos mm -hmm. and all that. They don't make underoos anymore, but you know. <laughs> 
I just wanted to say that. Maybe I should make it have a comeback. But they got all WWD out, eat out, whatever. This is live TV, people. And I took the picture, uploaded it, and I went on a mission. You would not believe that I was up from day and night trying to get people to vote for them. But they ended up winning. So thank you, everybody out there. I know that people right here in the studio audience voted for them. So thank you guys so much because this is like making a little boy's dream come true. There's like their dream to be there. It's going to be the live event that's going to be televised. Nice. So they're so excited. And I am too because John Cena is going to be there. Nice. Mm, yeah. Good. Do you like Actually, Cena? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about. Get excited. Get excited. I actually do like so, that. Yeah. So um, what was your dreams as a little boy? Is there... My dream as a little boy was to uh, fly to the moon, but that's not This still can happen. Now. Yeah. If you have like a million dollars, I think you can go to the moon. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I, can I guess, happen. yeah, it can still happen. So if somebody might want to sponsor me, you know, then hey. <laughs> We're looking for sponsors, not only, you know, just little million dollar sponsors right now. So Ivan can go to the moon. It's his little dream. And you know, start a Facebook page. Send right. Ivan to the yeah, moon. Yeah, Yvonne. Yeah. Yvonne to the moon. He's yeah. from Ecuador. Actually, you can say Ivan. Ivan is good. Yeah. So what's been up with you, Ivan? Tell the people about who you are, because you're my awesome co-host today. Okay, so as uh, probably some of you know, and uh, we also do a uh, show, um, Geek Speak with Sammy and Ivan, right? And uh, basically right now we're taking a break. We're working on some more uh, new and improved episodes for you to watch. And, uh, but in the meantime, you know, I've been uh, basically traveling. I just got back from Seattle myself, and uh, Seattle is a really nice city. And I have to say, it's uh, uh, for the amount of people that live there, you know, it's about the same population-wise, you know, as uh, Fresno has about the same amount of people living here, right, as, yeah. uh, as Seattle. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I mean, uh, uh, Seattle has uh, a couple of things going there. They do. And you know, I, the only uh, thing I can think about when I think about yeah. Seattle is coffee. And, well, there is more to it. Than I'm, that, I'm sure know. there is. But it, yeah. one thing you guys didn't know that Ivan did mention was talking about geek speak with Sammy and, and Ivan. But geek, did you guys know that he is an international geek? Right? <laughs> yes. <thank laughs> he's an international thank geek. For recognizing that, yeah. yeah, because he, yeah, wherever he goes, he's geeky, which, which is good because geeky's cool. Yeah, well, now it is. Geek uh, is think, chic. Yeah. Well, yeah, if, if you yeah if you're rolling in dough, yeah, I guess it's, I guess. it's pretty but good. But you, yeah. you know you gotta wait. You gotta wait for the money to just roll in. It, you know sometimes it just yeah, doesn't yeah. happen. Well, Bill Gates is pretty cool, I guess now. Oh he's, my goodness. He's a major geek, so yeah. Yeah, he's major a, major internet sensation. Yeah. I Ivan Ivan Ivan. I'm saying your name all messed up. Yeah, you are, but that's okay. But that's alright because you probably like mess you, you probably like you. mess that's up fine. mine yeah, too. Yeah, well, no, say Ernestine. Really, Ernestine. <laughs> See, that's yeah. not how you say it. Well, no, I can say it right. Say Ernestine yeah. again. Ernestine. Okay, that's yeah. all right. All right. So what's going to be so fun today is we're going to laugh, you guys. What is, you know, there's so many benefits to laughing. Do you know any benefits to laughing? Yeah, you live longer. Probably. You do live longer. Right? You have to laugh. Yeah, I don't know. Do, are you the kind of guy that makes jokes at work and you're kind of funny? Or Yeah, I always try to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get the uh, uh, wrong looks, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I still try, you know. You try, because yeah. you know what? <laughs> Laughing is so, it's just in us. Mm. I was looking at this report, and I have it right here in front of me, and it's, it was from <clears throat> Stanford University, and it was talking about when we laugh, your actual, I'm not even going to say these things right, I'm, I'm sure, but your pituitary. Pituitary gland. What? what are you going to school for, anyways? Oh, engineering. Oh, you wouldn't know it either. Okay, <laughs> pituitary gland. This is its own pain suppressing opiates when you laugh. So it's like a drug when you laugh. Okay. So if you want to get on drugs, people, get on get on laughter. Yeah. That reminds me, in Seattle, you know, they legalized. Uh, they legalized <laughs> laughter. <laughs> well, <I wasn't... laughs> yeah, yeah. They... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you can laugh wherever else, you but, want. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You can laugh in the library now. Yeah, but actually, there's some health benefits to it. So laughing lowers your blood pressure, increases your blood flow. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. It, it it works out your diaphragm, your abdominal, respiratory, facial, leg, and back muscles. So talk about exercising. Just laugh. You know, if you don't want to get up, just find something funny to watch and and just laugh all day. I'm probably just gonna start going to the gym and just start laughing. Yeah, laughing just say, yeah. I told you so. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't say that. But but laughing is so great. So and it also releases um, reduces stress hormones. Mm -hmm. It really does. Um, and it re increases the response of tumor and disease killing cells. So laughing can kill, like disease killing cells and crabs. <laughs> Bill needs to be on the show. I keep telling him he, I need to interview him. He's so funny. He's back there behind the scenes kind of guy. But And it also increases your memory and learning. So it's saying that people who laughed during school, it, it, had, it led to increased test scores. 
Can you believe that? I believe it. So when you're in class, because you just started Fresno State, right? You're engineering yeah. class. And do a lot of people laugh in engineering class? Uh, actually, no, not really. No. Maybe you should start making them laugh because it'll increase the test score. So I think class clowns shouldn't get in trouble anymore. I will make it a point to stand up in class and maybe make, tell a joke. Or make them laugh like and tell them yeah. that because of this, this report, that mm. that's, you just want to help them out. I have now documents to back it up. So you do, and I'm going to give this to you. And you know who made this? This is crazy. This is made by a guy, and he, he calls himself the humor guru, William Fry of Stanford University. Wouldn't you want to be a humor guru? That, what a job. What a job that is, you guys. So there's so many benefits to laughing. We're going to laugh today. We're going to find out all about uh, Tachi Palace fights as soon as we come back. Stay tuned. Thank you so much, Ivan, for being here. Well, thank you for having me. And everybody, a pleasure. find Ivan on Facebook and Geek Speak uh, with Sammy, with Sammy and, and Ivan. Ivan. Thank you so much. We'll be right back, guys. Thank you. This segment has been brought to you by Horn Photo in the Bellagio at River Park. For all of your photo and camera needs, go to Horn Photo in the Bellagio at River Park. Family photos tell your stories. Faces, places, milestones, and moments. You probably meant to preserve those memories. But where are those pictures now? Hiding in boxes or inside the discoloring pages of old albums? Do you own hours of home movies and videotapes that you can't even watch? Slides and negatives that you've saved for all these years and never get to see? Think of all those precious memories that you've saved from the past to share with the future. Thanks to technology, we're taking more photos than ever, but we're not printing them like we should. Those digital images are held hostage on phones, tablets, and hard drives, leaving them as high-risk targets for accidents and hardware failure. What will happen to all of these images that tell your life story? Cherish those captured memories, not by hiding them, but by safely saving them. Put this overwhelming task on your own agenda or enlist Horn Photo's expertise. Horn Photo provides hands-on help from day one with organizing, scanning, restoring, and duplicating photographs. We can digitize your print and video memories onto DVD for easy viewing and safe, efficient storage. All you need to do is gather your prints, slides, negatives, and videos then bring them into Horn Photo, where we will care for your cherished memories. In most cases, you can pick up your originals and your DVD within a few days. Once everything is on DVD, it's easy and affordable to order copies of your DVD for your children, siblings, and the rest of your family, so that you can share your memories with everyone. The best part is what can happen once your memories are digitized. We will show you how to transform your pictures into keepsake photo gifts and products you can enjoy for years to come. Don't wait for a disaster to destroy your collection of memories. Take steps to sort, save, and share your life in photos, whether you do it yourself or have Horn Photo help. Stop into Horn Photo and see our full range of solutions for saving and sharing your precious memories. Watch Tim Teeson live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on centralvalleytalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m. on Comcast channel 200 and digital channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back, everybody. I'm so excited to have Rochelle with me from Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino. There she is. Isn't she, isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. You're awesome. You're worldwide. You're going to be all over the internet. And Isaac De Jesus, one of the fighters for the Tachi Palace. I'm feeling like I'm such a lucky gal right now. It's so fun. So here, here, listen, you guys. If you're watching, I hope you're watching, you're going to call in during this segment so that we can give away two pairs of tickets right there. Rochelle has the tickets with her for the Tachi Palace Five. So during any time right now, go ahead and we'll take a call. But we'll, in the meantime, we're going to get started with our interview and you're going to learn all about Tachi Palace Five. So Isaac, you, you're one of the fighters. Yes. Right. And you're promoting or what are you? I'm doing? an entertainment coordinator. So the, the entertainment coordinator out there. Yes. Wow. Okay. So you have like so much fun then because you get to like job. do, like, I would too. Yes. 
I oh. help run all the concerts and then with Tachi Palace Fights, I do that. And we have Hispanic shows. We might bring back boxing. It's all up in the air. We're open to everything. So Wow, you yeah. hear that? They're <laughs> open to everything. So if you have some entertainment out there, do, do you want them calling you or not? <laughs> find me. Give find me Rochelle. <laughs> if, if you're that serious, find her. <laughs> so tell us, Rochelle, about uh, Tachi Palace Fights. How long has it been going on and what does it consist of? Oh gosh, Tachi Palace Fights has evolved from, we've had the WEC out there, okay. which went into the PSC and then TPF, Tachi Palace Fights, evolved okay. from both of those. Um, I've been there for three years and three months and I believe TPF five was the first event that i worked so i don't know what isaac maybe four or five years it's been around four years yeah about four or five yeah about five wow years. so on five you started they're on 16 now that's how many yeah, we're on 16 now so we took a little break but okay. this will be the first back since november of 2012. oh wow okay. so um we'll have another fight uh in november and then we'll bring it back in 2014 i believe first of the year. So it's mostly like maybe two fights a year? We do four fights a year. Four fights? Yeah. Okay. So this year it's only two, but okay. we were trying to revamp some stuff and we're bringing it back. It'll be better than ever. So That's right. Excited. Bring it back <laughs> and better than ever. I'm looking at the actual poster right now that you guys um, I have right here and it's awesome. So these posters of all these fighters, how many fighters total are going to be there? I think there's nine bouts. Two. <laughs> Let's see. Eleven bouts. So 22 fighters. 22 fighters. Yes. Wow. And we just don't pick from the Central Valley. It goes from all over. And um, we're one of the top feeders into the UFC. So we get the best from the area. We pick from. I mean, we go all over. We that's, want to. We want to put on the best show. That's great. And there are some locals in here. Yes. Right? And Isaac actually, being one of them. Isaac <laughs> being one of them. Hi, Isaac. Tell us about your boxing career. Uh, I'm not a boxer, okay, actually. That, 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 uh, yeah, exactly. That's right. We're, Tell we're, me. We're, we're trying to, we want trying the world to, to know. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to, you know, put that together. Wow. Um, yeah, it's mixed <laughs> martial arts. So, uh, you know, it's it's um it's a mix things of different arts put together. Uh, I've done martial arts since I was younger, so. Um, I mean, I, I've been doing, you know, this type of active stuff for since I was a kid. But I started MMA uh, professionally about seven, eight years ago. So oh, wow. I've been doing it since then. Um, just kind of stayed in the valley, traveled around, had some fun, uh, you know, thankfully for, you know, being a part of the Tachi Palace fights. Um, and, you know, hopefully from there I can uh, move on to something, you know, like the UFC and, you know, other promotions. That's usually what the Tachi uh provides for a lot of the fighters it's uh you know it's kind of like the gateway to you know the big shows That's awesome. know, so so what made you want to get in it to be a fighter seven years ago six seven years ago uh you know it just things uh, i was an active person and you know i needed something to calm me down i didn't do uh too much school so uh <laughs> I, I put my energy elsewhere which uh which was the gyms and uh, I, I guess I was pretty good. Wow. So it's, it's carried you, me this many years. You know? what, have you always been a fighter, though? Like in school, like growing up, like, you know, oh, sometimes. I had older brothers. I had older oh, brothers. My, uh, <laughs> hey, young... caller. We have a caller real oh, okay. quick. All right. Hey, caller. Wherever you're at, lower. We have a caller real quick. All right. Hey, caller. Wherever you're at, lower. We have a caller real quick. All right. Hey, caller. Wherever you're at, we have a caller real quick. Hey, caller, wherever you're at, you have to lower your. Never mind. Oh, man. Okay. Practice call. <laughs> call back, caller. We couldn't hear you. You have to lower your uh, computer or your phone or wherever you're watching from, guys. You have to lower it so we can hear you. So make sure you do that and call right back for those tickets. Make sure you can call at any time. Especially to go see Isaac here. So you just kind of, it was in you. You wanted to do it. You found out you are really great at it, huh? Yeah, something that I just picked up easy. It came a lot easier than the other things. So I just stuck with it. And fortunately, uh, made a career off of it. You know, made some money and made a life out of it. I, uh, I own a gym here in town in Fresno. So oh, cool. know, it's, kinda, it's put me in a situation to be able to provide for myself. So so what gym do you own here? Uh, it's, kinda, it's called Thrive Mixed Martial Arts. It's, is that what's uh, on your shirt right now? Yeah, it's one of my shirts for, oh. from the gym. Thrive Mixed Martial Arts is our gym. We're uh, located okay. on Sean Blackstone, actually. So. Cool. I heard about Thrive. And let, let me have a caller again. Let's try this one more time. Oh, I heard about Thrive. <laughs> let, let me have a caller again. Let's try this one more time. Never mind, I don't get it. Colors! Stay online! Hang on, got another one. Okay, here's another one. I'll try this one. 
<laughs> you guys Facebook me right now or call my cell phone or something. You guys got to get these tickets and stop hanging up. Thank you so much. I had a guest on here that gave a shout out to Thrive MMA one time. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's why I heard of, and I'm, you're the owner. Yeah, I'm oh, one of the owners. Awesome. Yeah, one of the owners. I've taken one of his kickboxing classes. Are you really? Oh, yeah, they are, cool. oh my gosh, they're intense. You feel amazing afterwards, but during right. it, you're just sweating and oh, it feels awesome. <laughs> so the gym, it's for women and men. Yes. Then. Yeah, it's not just a mixed martial arts. Because that's what I would yeah. think. But yeah. so you have mm -hmm. other classes that you it's offer? Open. Yes. To me, it was open to everyone. It was all kinds of um, levels that were in there. I've taken a kickboxing class at other gyms, and this one was just, I mean, you're in with the pros, you're in with the experienced guys. So. How awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You would get a great workout doing <laughs> that, huh? Let's try this one more time, caller. <laughs> you would get a great workout doing that. When you, do they just hang it up or they're getting dropped? Do you want me to call my cell phone? And give it to the world? All right. Let's just go, guys. Let's just go with it. Well, the person that I had on that mentioned um, Thrive MMA was Chris Patello. I don't know. Oh, I know Chris. Yeah, he came train with us for a while. Yeah. yeah so he Chris. gave you guys Good a shout out. So wow. yeah, he gave you guys a shout out. So awesome. So what else happens during the fight? When does the fight last? It's next Thursday, right? Yes. Okay. When does it start? So um, the doors will be at 5 p.m. The first bout will go on at 6. Okay. And um. It really depends if it's a title fight or if it's a normal bout. Correct me if I'm wrong, but normal bouts are three five-minute rounds, mm -hmm. and then title fights are five five-minute rounds. Oh, wow. And it completely depends on if there's a knockout, there's an injury. Mm -hmm. They could go, you know, all three or five rounds, and that's what makes it a lot more fun. Wow. Uh, see the guys just getting down and crazy, and everyone's up from the Actually, the energy yelling. is just so intense. It's awesome. I know. I, I <laughs> you can't imagine. Just like, you know... My sons that do WWE, mm -hmm. we went to one like a year and a half ago, or and I'm not really a big fan, but when you see the energy and everything happening, I can imagine you yes. just get into it. So yes. I'm a fan now, and I love <laughs> it. I, lo I love it. So how do you feel when the crowd is just going crazy and you're in, in, in the ring? I mean, what do you focus on? I mean, how... Do you even pay attention to that? <laughs> you know what? Honestly, um, uh, to be completely honest, no, I, I, you're more focus that you should be focused on what you're about to get yourself into so yeah, yeah as soon as the cage doors close you're not like <laughs> oh my god okay here we go this is it let's get you know let's let's get going uh no you you can hear it I'm, i mean it's not something where you know you mute it out completely being realistic you hear everybody but your focus stays on what you're about to get into uh even though it's uh it, it's a dangerous sport we prepare uh in all the best ways possible that's what makes us professionals and uh make sure you know we not only protect ourselves but put on a good show so we you know we prepare ourselves because you're not really thinking about the crowd or what people are because you got two sides some people are for you yeah and others are <laughs> against you so you're gonna hear all this crazy stuff on this side and then handshakes on this side so kind of balance it by just yeah. walking forward can you just steps. like tune it all out as do you do that absolutely you have to i mean so it's, you're just like a mom then right the experienced yeah. guys know yeah the experience <laughs> when you have your kids know. going mom 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 you just tune it all out no, yeah that's awesome though so is it any of your family ever afraid when you go into fight uh because that's kind of scary like you said there's i have a huge family backing thankfully uh right. family travels with me everywhere i mean they're pretty known at the fights for for shouting for me my mom's the only one who really gets nervous she she usually faints. Yeah, so, because if I had my kid or uh, husband or somebody, I'd be like, oh my god. Yeah, she she's used to it now. The first couple she fainted, and so it was kind of like, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't come to him. But now she, yeah, she's on it now. She knows what she's doing. So she she. That's gotta be scary though, because you know if you get hit really hard or you know. I, oh, wow. I, I the first ones that she fainted on, I did really good. I don't even think I got hit. They're my very first <laughs> fights, but uh, I, I expected her to faint on some of the ones where you know i didn't win and something bad happened you know so uh no but she's she's a trooper and my, my family's definitely always that's awesome. me, so that's cool that's great and and maybe we'll have Hachi palace fights for females you're getting ready right you're doing the kickboxing and... well oh, yeah <laughs> get me in that ring <laughs> we've actually had um some female fighters before really so um yeah i don't the guys just draw the crowd in i'm not uh -huh. saying the women don't but i mean we've just had the guys on the card for so long it's it's a huge deal <laughs> but like if you are a female out there and you want to get in there you got to find her find yeah. her <laughs> let her know so this is so great so anything um 
There's a title belt with this. Who's fighting for the title belt? This Poppy is Martinez and Christos Diagos. Poppy is Martinez is actually one of our tribal fighters. Okay. So he's been, you know, TPF forever. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he has a brother, Mickey Martinez, who's also a tribal fighter. So they're from the, the Tachi tribe and yes. they're fighting in the fights. Yes. How awesome. And um, we have a co main event, our, our scene. I can't even say his last name. Thank you. Diego. And then Marcella Castillo. Oh, God. Yeah. These guys are going to kill me. <laughs> but uh, that's a co-main event. That's also a title fight. So okay. those two bouts will be five, five-minute rounds unless something happens. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's got to be exciting. So that's next Thursday, August 22nd. Doors open at 5. And it's probably going to be about a four-hour event, maybe? Three hours? It totally Just depends. depends. But you're yeah. going to have fun. You're going to go yeah, out it there. It definitely depends on the fights. Yeah. And some last... Uh, the whole five five minutes or three five minutes and some of them will last minutes seconds, seconds. <laughs> it, it's a surprise so you're gonna have to come to the fights and yeah. see how long it's gonna last and and have a good time over there and check them out you gotta go out there that's so awesome you guys I'm, I'm my callers whoever called in i'm wondering if there's another way i have a facebook if you go to my facebook right now maybe the first two people that say i want the tickets on my facebook mm -hmm. my facebook is ernestine herrera hill some of you are already on my facebook fans so go out there and say i want the tickets and my first two people that do that if we can't get any callers here <laughs> i don't know what's going on with the phone line i think bill probably didn't pay the bill uh -oh. bill you're just a bill <laughs> <laughs> Right. Do you guys remember that? So, where do you um, want to go from here? Like after this fire, what, how far do you want to get with us? Um, I, I, you know, I, as far as it can take me, um, it's a career thing for me. It's not necessarily a hobby like some mm -hmm. other people take it, which mm -hmm. is not a bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, it's a career. I build my money and my income, and wow. I raise my daughter and my family mm -hmm. with it. So, um, I'll take it as far as it can get That's me. Right. You know, so wherever you know I'm getting paid. Uh, I'm going to be fighting, you know, thankfully the Tachi's taken care of me for so many years. So I hope to stay here as long as I can until I move on to something uh, big. I, I know I have other uh, fights scheduled for myself and more focus on this one now, but um, yeah. well, you know, wherever it takes me, uh, you know, I'll follow it. That's for sure. That's awesome. So yeah. you want to give any shots out? I know maybe you have a manager or. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my manager, Isaac, actually here right now with me in the studio, you know, thanks to him, helped me out. <laughs> Um, and you know, being here, uh, my team, um, some of the guys are on this post right here. We've been training really hard for the show. Mm -hmm. Um, all my sponsors, I got so many of them. Like, we've really? been here for a lot longer. Oh, than awesome. we have. It's like an Academy Award or something. I'd like <laughs> to thank. Yeah. So, so thanks to everybody who's helped me out and people who support me and people who haven't forgot about me and still like to watch me fight. I appreciate it. And, That's awesome. Thanks. I think it's great. Were you ever like, did you fight in school like wrestling or do any of that type of stuff? Uh, no, I, I played football and I got injured and then I kind of just hung out and tried to stay out of trouble and, you know, be a good boy. <laughs> stay. Yeah. But you take it all out in the ring. Yeah, That's exactly. Great. That's exactly. awesome. So everybody, if you get a chance, check out Thrive. MMA and Fresno. Mixed martial arts in Fresno off of uh, Shaw and Blackstone next to the Blast Fitness. And you don't want to miss the Tatcha fights. And for my callers, please go to my Facebook page. Tell me you want the tickets. Um, is there anything else you'd want to say, Rasha? I think you did awesome. We do have some live entertainment after okay. the fights. Oh, um, great. Fresno's own 51 Aces. Ooh. They're a huge, yeah. huge oh, fan. Wow. Fans out here. 51 Aces have some uh, fans so. in it. What kind of music do they play? Um, they're rock, but they're super high energy. The guys are awesome. Um, oh, great. They performed at the new uh, HCK restaurant last night, I think. Okay. So um, from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., they'll be in the Quayway Lounge. So it's something I, to get everyone still excited and hang around after the fights and celebrate all the wins. That's right. <laughs> and we have some fans in here. And um, anything else? What You said the next fight is probably going to be when? It's in November, the second Thursday of November. And I should totally know this date. Oh, Lord. That's okay. Live TV, it happens. <laughs> but are, 14th. Are you, you going to be in that fight, too? Uh, You know, we'll see. We'll okay. see, hopefully, again. Does it depend on this date? Uh, no, not necessarily. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, I was no, like, you know, I didn't know how it works, but that, yeah. thank you for correcting me too. I didn't mean we haven't you. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, there's nothing wrong with boxing. I, I do it all the time. You know, it's just not what I'm considered. So. Okay. Yeah. I didn't, sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. No. But thank you so much for oh, for coming. You guys that. are so high energy. I can't wait. My goodness, everybody, please go out to the Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino. Check out the 11th, right? Yeah. It's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming. 
Thank you so much. Thank nice to meet you, and good luck. Yes, thank good you. Luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks for I'll be guys. talking to you soon, yes, you guys. Yeah. Stay tuned for the Central Valley's cleanest comedian coming up next. <laughs> CentralValleyTalk.com Batman's Alley, Hungry Howie's, and Scoop's Ice Cream. Tower Health Food, Samba Steakhouse, Mike Briggs Properties. There's Tower Market, Farmer's Market too. Kuka's and Landmark, Mr. Sushi for you. Chicken Pie Shop, Fulton's Trolley, Palomino's, Spinner's Records, Tower Bike Shop, Irene's To Go, Bobby Sal's Restaurant, The Perfect Blend, and Million Elephants, H&R Block, Starbucks Coffee, PMOTs. Roger Rocca's Dinner Theater, The Second Space, Tower Tattoos, La Tienda, Me and Ed's is the place, International Furniture, The Review Cafe, Teasers Will Tea Market, Love Oak Knows the Way, Typhoon Restaurant, The Game Preserve, and be a bay brewing russo restaurant tower clocks today come to the tower there's so much fun for everyone every morning every evening ain't we got fun You're watching CentralValleyTalk.com. CentralValleyTalk.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm so sorry about the phone thing, but I did go to my Facebook, and I have to check out who responded first for the tickets, you guys. I appreciate all of you watching and wanting the tickets. It's going to be an awesome event. So glad I got to interview with Isaac and Rochelle. They were so awesome. Well, also, I have the Central Valley's cleanest comedian, everybody. I want you to help me welcome Lonnie Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're messing up names. Yeah, yeah. We've been messing up names on the show all day. So, Lonnie, everybody, how you doing, Lonnie? I'm doing good, and I come uh, bearing good gifts. All right. <laughs> For you, everybody out there, and always bring me gifts. Yes. So, what we got here? I got a shirt. <laughs> I think it's gonna fit too. I got floor. By the Lord, that's right, everybody. <laughs> So we're going to talk to Lonnie Pally about this in just a second, but I love gifts. I do. I have had a couple of guests that brought me gifts. Awesome. I really that's, appreciate that's, them. That's awesome. You know? Yeah. It's an honor to be here today. I'm so glad that you're here today. So <clears throat> here's the thing. Lonnie, I, I met you on Facebook. Yes. Which is so awesome because Facebook is just such a great way to network with people. And, you know, just so everybody knows right now, I'm blocked from adding people. So if you oh, want to be my friend, if you know anybody yeah, wants to be my friend, tell them to add me. Yeah, I'll send, I'll send it out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So, Lonnie, tell us um, who named you the Central Valley's cleanest comedian? If I, if I if I remember right, it's an old buddy of mine, Danny Minch. He's yeah. a local comedian around here. He actually went as far as calling me the preacher comedian. Uh huh. 
uh, back in, oh, I've known him for four or five years, I guess now. Oh, yeah? You're like back, I thought you were saying yeah. back in the day when yeah, you were like 12 day. or something, <laughs> like rocking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> telling everybody, hey, you can do that. So how long have you known? I mean, you have, I'm, 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 I read your bio. I've actually talked to you and mm -hmm. you've done some pretty yeah. amazing things. Yeah. I think it's just so great. <clears throat> so tell me, how, when did it first start for you? When did you first oh. think about, hey, I want to be a comedian or I want to be a celebrity or what is it that you wanted to do when you well, were it was a all, boy? Yeah, it was always a dream of mine to be a, a celebrity. Uh -huh. uh, and like I said in the phone interview, my mom was kind of my worst critic and bursting my dreams and stuff. Yeah. But it all came to pass in 2001. No, I don't. 2001? Uh, it doesn't uh, matter. Yeah. It's all the same. It's yeah, just yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, I got. But you were telling I, me. Yeah, I got some timers. You know, I forget. Sometimes I don't remember. Sometimes. <laughs> He's a some timer, everybody. <laughs> but from what you told me uh, yesterday, I asked him, I go, where did, you know, tell me your background. He said he came from a poor family. And I was yeah, like, okay, yeah. well, you know, yeah, I can relate. Yeah, so poor, we can't pay attention. Can't no. even pay attention. So we had to make jokes. You know, yeah, we had to make yeah. time to go by. But here's the thing I think what you said is kind of important because. You said that mom was a dream crusher. Sometimes parents don't know that they're crushing dreams. Right, they right, just right. kind of say, hey, they're, people are programmed to tell their kids, go to school, get a good job, get good benefits, retire. Yeah, yeah, you know, and that's, right. not, that's not what's good anymore. You know, yeah. you got to go for your dreams. And, and so my, yeah. what was it that your mom wanted you to do with your life? Uh, she said, Lonnie, you, boy, you live in a fantasy world. <laughs> get yourself a real job. So she wanted me to be a cop. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I actually tried that out and uh, it wasn't for me. Yeah, like, do you try to arrest people and, like, and you try and to I feel, jokes? I, no, I feel sorry for them. Oh, I like, put the handcuffs on them. You and just I, let them go. You know. <laughs> Just, just go. Just don't do yeah, it again. Just, yeah, I can't wait yeah. to run into a cop like that. I know. <laughs> telling you, when I'm speeding, I want to. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. some karma to come back on me. As far as like running into somebody, just say, just go. Just don't speed again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used so, to have yeah. that problem. I don't anymore, people. I just drive 55. I do. So yeah, it actually did went back to 2001. I was on a stage working at an employee company. Uh, meeting uh -huh. uh, I was doing karaoke and during the middle of this song I believe the song was called Jesus Freak okay. and in between the the music time I just started dancing uh -huh. and you know white boys can't dance they but can't. I, start, I start dancing well, it's this way. Okay. But anyways, I'll do the sprinkler, whatever you know. Yeah. Because uh, I yeah, see yeah. a few. But anyways, yeah. Dances. So I, I <laughs> so I did this karaoke show. I started dancing. Everybody's falling out of their seats, yeah. rolling. They're all, man, you sure you're not a comedian? And so I kind of went with it. I. So you're saying, hey, you get this idea. Yeah. You like making people laugh. We yeah. we talked about the benefits of laughing, and there's also, you know, it's it, it feels good when you're laughing and oh, making yeah. people laugh. So yeah. that's a good feeling. Um, but you also have a day job too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a radio person, uh, off-air person. Off-air radio personality. Yeah, down the street, 105.1 The Blaze. Oh no! Oh no! Got some fans out there. Uh, so people can find you when you're just out and about with 105.1 The Blaze. Yes, uh, usually driving the big uh, rolling uh, billboard. Oh, The big okay. Blaze truck. Are some, you giving away prizes and stuff? Uh, whenever they send me out there. Yeah. Can, can you tell me when you're doing it so I can win them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. So then you start at this company party and then you just went for it because you yeah, also yeah. to go on. Um, you were on the PAX channel. Tell us about when you won. Uh, yeah. And um, you were on TV in front of millions yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2005, I you know how you get those computer pop-ups and it says, have you always wanted to be on TV? And I'm like, yeah. I never got that. And computer pop up. <laughs> so uh, $500 later, okay. I ended up uh, performing at the MGM uh, Grand and the USA World Showcase took first place oh, wow. in the comedy division. That's awesome. And I was up again. Yeah, give him a hand. Yeah, you yeah, won yeah, first place. Yeah, yeah. I was up against an 80 year old woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, she. I, I like old, but Betty White's old, and she's funny. Yeah, and uh, you know, she waited that many years to to follow her dream. It's, it's never too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was awesome. So. Cool. So you beat her out. You didn't trip her or anything. No. Well, she got, she got first place for uh, you know women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. They so. had different. But here's the thing. You were exposed. Or <laughs> Millions of people. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's another show for later on. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. 
but millions of people have seen it. Yeah, yeah. So kind of so, like your dream came true at that point. So right. you just kind of pursued and were just on a roll and you yeah. went for it. And one thing that you told me is that after that, you kind of, you were in LA auditioning mm -hmm. for the last comic standing. Yes, I did with about 200 other comedians. Uh -huh. and. Uh, and I got in the credits, so they did must have liked something because I, I was in the movie credits. I was dancing in the streets of L.A. So. That's what you got to do something. You got to oh, stand yeah, yeah. out. You got to do something different. If you have to dance in the streets of L.A. And also then, uh, so waiting for my call back, I got to work with Chelsea Handler of the Chelsea Show. And then I got to do my comedy on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. Chelsea Handler, so, Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. I mean, yeah. who can say that? Who can put that on their resume? Yeah, yeah. So, That's amazing. Yeah. And Chelsea, I, I, I was like, you went on Chelsea Handler. I go, she is ruthless. She's hilarious. She's mm -hmm. funny. And and um, oh my goodness. So you, they said, hey, you want to be on the Chelsea Show? And you went and did a yeah, little yeah. skit with her. Yeah, they were actually uh, trying to pay people to do it. And I said. Just let me do it. I, I won't take the money. I want the exposure. So that was the cool. Exposure again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike's exposing himself. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you're not a policeman. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But yeah, so he went on Chelsea Handler. It was <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. How did you like that? How was that? It was crazy. She just whooped me over, boy. Oh, I bet you she did. Kind of like another just... Lisa Lampanelli, you know. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> and then later, that was that the same night you won the Jimmy Kimmel? Yes, you know, the same day, yeah. Same day? Oh, yeah, because okay. Jimmy Kimmel comes yeah. on at night. But yeah, we actually recorded the show about 7 o'clock, and then, so, yeah, yeah. So, before <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel comes out, you said you did, like, a three-minute stand-up in front of the crowd. Yeah, yeah. So, they they seen Holy Humor. Oh, that, cool. That's my stage name, Holy Humor. Yeah, so, so yeah. <laughs> if you guys are looking on the board right there, it's mm -hmm. Lonnie Pelle. Am I saying your name right? Yes, you're it's awesome. Not Pelle or Pelle. Oh, that's my rich name, Pelle. Oh, Pelle. Pelle. I'm sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. No, <laughs> when you go to a fancy <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. Um, but that's his Facebook right there, you guys. Add him and, or go like his page. So you are... Um, you're doing and promoting some things. You're you're going to be at a... What do you have going on tonight? Yeah, tonight it's a Something to Eat. Some, something to Eat. Something to Eat restaurant. They've been open up, I believe, a couple months now. Okay. Uh, the owner uh, found out I did comedy, so she asked me to come in and put together this uh, comedy show event. Okay. Which, unfortunately, all the ticket sales are... They're, they're done. They're done? done. Oh, wow. Yeah, but we, you're going to be at something to eat tonight. Yeah, I'll be there with uh, my a fellow uh, comedian, Ken Lewis, and my headliner, Ruben Quintana. So, Ken Lewis and Ruben Quintana. Was one of them on BET or featured on yeah, BET? Yeah, Ruben Quintana, the Ruben Quintana. godfather of Latino comedy. Oh, wow. How so, fun. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. should be fun. And then you got <laughs> another event coming up. Yes, on August 25th, I'll be at the Selma Victory Outreach Church. Okay. And that's also a benefit concert. And the information should be up there on the so screen. So we're looking at the picture right now, Lonnie. Yeah. It looks like you're yeah. the only white boy in this yeah, picture. Yeah, you got all the homies. They, they, yeah. They snag them out of Walmart, <laughs> you know, out of the little machine there. <laughs> oh, the little, yeah, that's funny. That's yeah. too funny. So you're going to do comedy in for yeah. the homies. going to be an old school jam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make the homies laugh. Right, right, no, right, yeah, if you yeah. don't make the homies yeah. laugh, yeah. Yeah, you got to make them laugh. But that's so important. So, you know, in doing this and you're following your dreams mm -hmm. and you're doing what it is that you love to do, I think... That inspires like a lot of my audience out there okay. and people out there because, like you said, you had these you know dream crushers, dream crushers or, along yeah, the way. The saying, haters are always out there. Haters or people, you know. <laughs> what what has been your biggest obstacle in you know, uh, being a comedian? Yeah, pretty much a lot of negativity I'll see, you know. Uh, but I I tried to over overcome that when I as out of high school, you know. I mm -hmm. used to I used to get always get picked on. Oh. I was the kid that got thrown in the garbage can. Oh, wow. Man, those girls were mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably you know, mean. Uh, yeah, I used yeah. to do that. Oh, you bully. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so, no. uh, <laughs> so yeah. But then but then now, as I've gotten older and gotten past that, because I told my high school, I said, look, in 20 years, I'm going to be famous. Yeah. And so I'm... So you started signing autographs. Signing autographs, sign autographs. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I do all that, and I just made, started making myself known, you know, never had a manager, never had a, a promoter, I just, just put out there yourself and out there, and yeah. sometimes you just have to do that, because here's the thing, a lot of times everybody's waiting for an invitation, anybody to go yeah, knock yeah. on your door, come yeah, on, I'm going to be your manager, on. and let's take you out there, but you got to yeah. run and hustle yourself, and that's tiring, but, you know, in the end, it pays off, it's kind of like mining for gold, somebody well, yeah. was talking about mining, who yeah, was talking I, about mining earlier? I don't know. Oh, over there, one of our studio audiences. But it, but an analogy of mining for gold, like, you know, those miners, 
are going through a lot of dirt. And shaking it. A lot of dirt. A lot of dirt until they get to the gold. Right, right, right. It's kind of like what we have to do sometimes oh, yeah. when it, we're doing what it is that we love. We're going through it. Yeah. People are being naysayers or being negative, but you got to, you know, you, you come across obstacles, but you got to in order to get to the gold. So, yeah, I had one big comedian tell me, I said, he goes, How you doing? I said, oh, Man, I'm still waiting for my big ship to come in. He goes, Well, maybe quit waiting and go swim to it. Wow, that's some good advice. Go swim to your ship. <laughs> Go swim to it. Right now. Or follow walk your day. Follow your passion. Follow it. Do it. So here's the thing, you know, people judging you or whatever. Here, I found out a lot of times people want to say the negativity comes from, you know, when people see you doing something you love to do, you're just remembering mm -hmm. what they're not doing, you know? Oh, that's good. Like, because it's like... Something to chew on. Exactly. <laughs> chew on that. That wasn't a joke. But seriously, when right. people want to pick apart something it's because you know they're not doing what it is that they love to do because i'm telling you there's nothing like doing something that you know you really you're passionate about and, and there's nothing even better when you're doing it and you're getting paid for it yeah, yeah. <laughs> i need more sponsors everybody. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we try to get a million dollar sponsor so i mm. think to go to the moon now yeah, we, need yeah, some, yeah. <laughs> we need some more sponsors so we can continue doing it. if you I, believe in us yeah, I was going to say when he, when he was up here talking about his dreams, I thought he wanted to grow up and say, go. I wish he would have. I should have had him say goal instead of bingo. Bingo, yeah, yeah. That, was kinda, that kind of threw him off. But right. hopefully he goes and plays bingo. Yeah. Bingo is so fun. Have you ever played bingo? Bingo, yeah, with the little beans and the Oh, wow. You played bingo. a long time yeah. ago then, right? Yeah, school bingo. School yeah. bingo. <laughs> so tell us about um, who, what else. What else oh, are you doing man, besides just, just these next two events? Oh, uh, man, you, just... Uh, where do you perform or what do you do? Can yeah, you rinse I, you out? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool, yeah. <laughs> uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I do, I do private parties, birthday parties, uh, corporate events, whatever, you know, I, uh -huh. I, whatever you want to book me for. But I'm telling people, book me now because I believe one day my calendar is going to be so full. I might have to turn people away. Wow. Yeah, you might have to. You know. It's like, so Christmas time is coming up. All yeah, you corporate yeah. people out yeah, there, yeah. you need a little entertainment. Go to Lonnie's yeah. Facebook page that was up earlier and yeah. uh, check him out. And he does private parties and he's been on the Jimmy Kimmel audience, Chelsea Handler. He's been in front of millions of people. Yeah. And he's here today on my show. I'm Woo. so excited. On Talk With Me. Hey. Yeah, on Talk With Me. I get talk to add this to my resume. Me. Awesome. Yeah. You add this to your resume. <laughs> and yeah, just like you, this is like a history making too. Yes, yeah, yeah. When I be on uh, my own channel <laughs> after right. I get my sponsors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So um, anything else? Like anybody, who's been the most inspiration oh influential oh, who's your, who's your favorite? oh yeah the my comedian. favorite comedian is jim carrey uh -huh. the faces uh, you know i, uh -huh. I love you faces do that pretty good. Oh, I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I love jim carrey uh, uh -huh. a lot of people describe my comedy as uh, larry the cable guy meets carrot top Oh, wow. I, so I do. I do. You a lot have of helicopters props. and no, stuff and props no, because no. i didn't like props earlier so. yeah i do got props uh, <laughs> i got i got a wig um, okay me too Tell people one one time I had wavy hair and then it waved bye bye and I like to throw it in the audience. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, I mean, how much are you paying? Wigs cost a lot of money these days. You know? I mean, well, if been, it's a good wig, yeah. I might go to your show. <laughs> well, I think I thank the man above for thrift stores. <laughs> okay, you know? yeah, yeah. Well. I'm a clearance shopper. You know what? My middle name used to be Clarence. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't I can't find oh, yeah. any deals anymore. It's so crazy. I haven't really been yeah. shopping though, actually, because I need more sponsors. But um, <laughs> where do you plan to take this? Um, I'm just kind of riding the ride and seeing what happens. That's right. I'm, I'm thankful for my job in radio. That's helped boost my friends. But actually, my radio is se separate from my comedy. That's yeah. But uh, my character on the radio, you can find the fun guy. Oh, you're the fun guy. I'm the fun guy. Yeah, yeah. Like fun guy. But like the mushroom. I, I like to grow on people like a fungus, you know. Oh, this, wow. Uh, okay. Fun guy. F-U-N-G-I. Fungus. Fun guy. Fun guy. Crabs, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real contagious show we're doing today. Yes. Hopefully you guys get contagious too. So fun guy. Like I'm the fun and then G-U-I. Like fun guy. 
Well, it's F U N G Y pronounced oh, fungi, I'm not, I'm not but really spelled F U N G I, like oh, the fungus, okay. like the mushroom. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a mushroom. Yeah. In Shrooms, my heart, yes. for laughter. <laughs> Hey, mushroom. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pack now and whatever else I need to do. How about tissue? Tissue. You don't know how to talk on the TV? I tissue. You tiss me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. I tiss but you. let me tell yeah. you something. Who's been most inspirational to you? Inspirational. During this whole time. Uh, I have to say my fans. Your fans? Brother Daryl out there. Brother Daryl. Brother Daryl. Yeah. Got a nice studio audience. Look alive. Got to give live. Brother Daryl a shout out. He's like my, my, we have a bromance going on. You a know? bromance. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's nothing wrong with bromances or man curses or anything like that. Uh, Is there anybody else you'd like to thank throughout this whole thing? Yeah, my kids. Uh, mm -hmm. My grandbaby. Oh, you got a grandbaby. Yeah. How old is your grandbaby? Yeah, over a year old. How cute. Little Rex. Oh. Uh, Mama Amanda. And, and you got two kids? How, how old are they? Uh, Amanda's in her 20s. Yeah, you better <laughs> I guess say I hi, should Amanda. know. Hi, Amanda. And Tyler is 18. Oh, wow. Tyler. You have adult children yes, and yes. a grandbaby. And the grandbaby's got to bring you so much oh, joy. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and so much material. Watch, oh, yeah. watch all the new material oh, yeah. that you're going to get with these kids. Especially with the toys you. on the floor, you know. It's, it's, oh, my okay. goodness. They're, the kids are hilarious. And I'm so glad. Mine started school this week because I just yeah. <laughs> love, and love my kids. And everybody's kids started school this I'd week. I'd be stuck in the doghouse if I didn't give my wife a shout give out. Give your wife Maria. a shout out. She's my she's my rock and literally she's a rock. We're night and day. Oh wow. Uh, she she's the business side and I'm the play side. So. She she probably wants to hang yeah, up yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> so hi yeah. to wife Maria. So yeah. I thank you so much. People I thank if you, you guys wanna for check out over. And having me. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Check I come out. over. I'm coming over here. Yeah. yeah okay. Sorry come over that. here. Go whatever. Yeah. Just check him out. Find him on my Facebook. Yeah. Go to his Facebook page and go check him out. He's he's going around. He's available for corporate parties and birthday parties, birthday parties and weddings. divorce parties. I've done old folks' homes. I've done. Uh, do you make the old folks laugh? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Call up for your convalescent. <laughs> Service. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's comedy that's rated it's C comedy, for clean. Rated C for what? Clean. Oh, I thought it was crazy. Oh, crazy. But still, yeah. you know, and everybody has to laugh, whether you're elderly or you're young. And yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. So even in a convalescent home, let's not forget them, everybody. Thank you so much Thank for being here, Lonnie. Mm. Thank you, studio audience, for being mm. here. Thank you so much for everybody out there that tuned in today. I appreciate it so much. Make sure you tune in every week, you guys. And go to my Facebook page at Ernestine Hill. Talk to me. Google me. Look up old shows. Look at these shows. And just like my Facebook page, everybody. And come on the show. I want, can't wait to have you. So thank you. You want to wave. Bye-bye to everybody. Mm. Make sure you come back next week. <laughs>
we will show you how to transform your pictures into keepsake photo gifts and products you can enjoy for years to come. Don't wait for a disaster to destroy your collection of memories. Take steps to sort, save, and share your life in photos, whether you do it yourself or have Horn Photo help. Stop into Horn Photo and see our full range of solutions for saving and sharing your precious memories. Watch Tim Thiessen live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on centralvalleytalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m on Comcast Channel 200 and Digital Channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this.